Back in, run it up. Tony Pollard is just a big play waiting to happen. I've been on the run, locked in, run it up. I do too. Yup, yup, we like the high stabbing right there. Here he is, Tony Pollard from the Dallas Cowboys. I yeah. knew would be happy, so here it is. Da -da 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 -da. Feel good? I feel amazing. Feel great. All right, That's important big. stuff first, because you play in Dallas, you're from Memphis, your parents have a barbecue restaurant. As Texans, we also think our barbecue is top. So where are we on the barbecue wars? Memphis or Texas? <laughs> mm. Definitely Memphis. <laughs> But so straight face. It's a close. It's a close <laughs> second. Why is it better? Because there's a different vibe altogether. It's a. Day. It's like a different flavor. Like I don't wow. even. I can't really explain it and break is it, it down. Sweeter Memphis barbecue. We can go dry rub too. Okay. Kansas City's got good barbecue too, right? They're, they're not in the mix. Nobody's talking about Kansas City. I'm just saying they're not. They're not in the mix with no, Texas. No, we're Tony. I want to. I want to ask you this. At, at your at your family restaurant, do y'all put barbecue sauce in the spaghetti? What? Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. That's a Memphis thing. You put barbecue sauce in the spaghetti. You said it's barbecue tomato sauce. Spaghetti. Yeah. I didn't even know you could get spaghetti at a barbecue restaurant. Yeah. yeah. It's all really? Memphis. That's our thing. Fact. Can Chandler wow. go to your parents' restaurant <laughs> in Memphis? <laughs> yeah, he's he good. They won't, he should be good. They won't jump me. I'm good with a food. Nah, I used to be good <laughs> yeah. in the hood, man. You heard that, Memphis? Yeah, but you're going to need security. Eat shit. They I'm want coming to... back. <laughs> Look, you motherfucking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming fine. back and I'm it's going to Pollard's. <laughs> totally fine. Um, okay, <laughs> NBA wise, we get some basketball into this. Did you root for the Grizzlies? Is that your team? Do you have a team? I did when uh -oh. I was a I was a Miami fan. Oh, okay. So if it went wrong with Miami and or if Miami wasn't playing, Grizzlies was playing, then I'm cheering for the Grizzlies. Right. Were you a Miami fan like bef like before the big three or were they kind of like before like, the big three. like D Wade? Yeah. Oh. Like, you remember him? Way, Lonzo Morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you remember Love him stealing that. money from the Memphis Grizzlies at all? Why do you always got to bring that up? <laughs> I, just, I didn't know if it was, it's on my list. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> that was a real question. I don't know <laughs> that one. Do you remember Chandler stealing money? Fine. That's hilarious. Uh, so who, if you, do you watch a lot of basketball still or not really? Not really. Oh. Okay, I was going to ask who would be the Tony Pollard of the NBA? All power, it'd be D-Wade. I'm thinking Westbrook. I like both. Yeah. I like, bro, what do you, what do you think? West, Westbrook, D-Wade? Because you got power, you got speed. I would got say, quickness. give me the young D-Rose. Oh. Ah, there we go. Young, young D-Rose Rose is electric. There MVP. we go, there we go. Now we, now we talking. Speaking of a young D-Rose, who would you say is the best basketball player on the Cowboys right now? On the Cowboys? Yeah, yeah. I'll play. Oh, you just the tight end or the, he played at college basketball. I don't know if he's still on the Cowboys. Who? Oh my, what's his name? He went to, he played Oklahoma, I thought. Who are you talking about, Des Bryant? No, he played college basketball. I don't know, I forgot his name. Oh, for a basketball show. Yeah. Is he a big guy, like a? Yeah, Gallup. Didn't Gallup play college basketball? No. Did he? I thought so, maybe I'm no. tripping. I don't know, I don't well, think uh, so. It, obviously not, because yeah. he, he would Yeah, I think he would know. You would remember uh, to say Gallup. The best hooper on the Cowboys. Let me see who can hoop. See, like, not many of playing, it's so weird. I would have thought there'd be guys. Can CD hoop? CD can hoop. CD can, right, CD can hoop. Um, Are quarterbacks allowed to play basketball? That, that can hoop. Okay. Look at my okay. man real okay. quick with the hoop. goggles on real okay. quick. Okay. I'm distracted. No, that's what I said. It's a, it's a lot going home. TP, let me, TP let, me, let me ask you this. You know, we, we both Whitehaven guys. Uh -huh. We both from the city. I'm also a diehard Cowboys fan. You know in Memphis, Cowboys have a big following. Yeah. I grew up in it. I, I never had an opportunity to ever root for anybody else. Wow. <laughs> Bro, what can we do? We got to get over the hump. Oh, God, here we, we go. We got to get over the hump. Fix Listen, it. not get to get it. more touches not, not, for No, because I, I, let me vent. I got to get this off my chest. Talk like to me. It. Because we, we got to get there. We got to shut everybody up. I'm sick, of all, I'm sick of all the noise. Not to get into specifics, but what do you think some things that we can address? And I'm saying we. You know, because that's how we get down, Cowboys Nation. What do you think we could do to get over the hump? Is it a chemistry thing? Do we keep building with the same I group feel like of guys? Chemistry-wise, everything's on point. Like all the guys, we all cool. We all mess with each other. Offense, defensive guys, we get along. Um, is it a locker room thing? Is there something going on in there that's I don't like? No, we just. Is it the quarterback? Is it the coach? We figure Cause it we're out. right there. We're right there on the brink. Every time. We're right there on the brink. We gotta. We gotta get over that hump. We gotta win a big game, man. I. I can't wait to see you in a parade. 
and we get there, but it's just, it's something missing. I can't figure, I can't put my finger on it. We just gotta make it happen. That's all I, yes, sir. Let me ask you guys this, because you have, you have your perspective, you are a fan, so you, you have your theories, but it, is it the same thing each year that seems to be that wall, or is it changing? For me, for me, as, a, for me as a fan, it look like we're not a great road team. Okay. We love our dome so much. It's, Who if are you, have, you right now? No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, I'm nice a real, you. yeah. Uh, how you doing, man? <laughs> Lou Will. Who is Lou today? I didn't know you were such a cowboy fan. How, how did you not? I even knew that. What's wrong with Jeez. you? How did, how did you not? But I think that dome is so nice. Yeah, and, well. And it's so lively when you're a Dallas Cowboys fan. Sometimes we go on the road, we don't travel as well, and we don't play as well on the road. And I think that's one. Of, that's been one of our Achilles heel as a, as a fan. Would you would you agree or would you disagree with that? Uh, yeah, I could agree with that. Yeah. How do we fix that then? How do you get better on the road? Because sometimes I don't know. We gotta that. put we gotta put grass down in the practice facility. We'll figure or something. this out. We gotta put some grass down in the practice facility. We mentioned the team, Dak Prescott, polarizing player. What's it been like playing playing with him? I mean, it's just a normal day for me. Yeah. I've been right. with Dak since I got drafted, so I feel like I've been knowing Dak though before I got drafted, because he went to Mississippi State, and I feel like I used to see him around a lot. Yeah. You know, that's not far from Memphis, so. I feel like I've been knowing that, and he's always been the same cool, chill, down to earth guy. Like, I've always been the same. Yeah. You know what's funny is that you use the word polarizing with yeah. Dak, but he also just seems like a nice kid who is, happens to be the quarterback of yeah. one of the most famous teams in the world. So we say polarizing, but you must see him completely. Do, do you see anything about him that should make us be so hard on him all the time? I mean, he's a cowboy. That's the only thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. He's that's the starting he's he's the the star, star right. quarterback of the Cowboys. That's like it. that. That's like that being the best player though. on the he's Lakers. Gonna, he's going to get praised when they're good. It's good. He's going to get shit on when they lose. Fact. Yeah, and that's exactly what keeps happening year in, year out. All right, Lou, I'm going to ask the question for Lou. If, if he had your O-line blocking for him, <laughs> can he gain a couple yards in a game? Can Lou? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No hell way. Hell no. <laughs> I appreciate the, listen, I the appreciate the vote of confidence, but hell no. I don't, I don't want to gain no yards. You don't want to get hit, right? Wait, I don't want to get hit. That's all you got to do is run away from it. <laughs> get out of bounds. Make it happen. You would there die. There you go. I, now, Chandler, you want to ask your question? I just said, I said, I'm tall, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a tall guy. If I'm in the end zone, couldn't you just throw a jump ball up to me with a smaller cornerback? Like, I can't catch. Or, yeah, like a fade ball. Yeah, exactly. I get the physicality. They're going to yeah. bump me in the first. Why are you being so nice to me? No, nice. I'm saying, like, if I had him on my team, I would throw you jump would? balls in the end zone. There's no corner that can guard someone 6'10". And then oh, we, all, we I, asked these guys on the Jets. We were like, no, nah, they can't. Somebody, like, somebody can guard you for sure. But then yeah. he would die. More than likely, it's oh, not I mean, a lot of people that can. I, I think yeah. we both getting pushed out of bounds, Chandler. I agree. I am just simply saying, once I'm in the end zone, just throw it up. Once I'm in the end zone. You don't even think I'm getting in the end zone? I don't think you're getting in the end zone, bro. <laughs> Whatever. I, I really want to line up really out here somewhere I do with somebody. I'm telling you, tomorrow we got see. Joe Hayden. I'm going to run around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just bullet. Yeah. I really want this to happen. You we'll just, do it right here, uh, over there. So one of the highest paid corners of all time, you're, you're going to wake up out of your bed <laughs> and just bully him. I'm not going to wake up. I'm not going to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we kidding? He's not sleeping this entire Let's time. Let's not be ridiculous. Hold up. Are your family actually Steelers fans? Like they were? They left? were. So how did that conversation go? <laughs> OK, I'm a cowboy now. We're changing. <laughs> Kinda, basically. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because my, my dad's a Steelers fan. I couldn't like, imagine sitting him down and being like, we are Dallas fans now. They said it, like, when I got drafted, that was the mindset, like, all right, I was still a fan, but now it's Dallas. But it, it took a minute for it to, that's how, that's like, how I, I call sometimes, and I still catch them, like, <laughs> Pittsburgh hat, <laughs> Pittsburgh jersey. And I'm like, come on now. Is that that's something, like, when free like, when I was a free agent, I'm from Orlando. I didn't really, I didn't want to go back and play in Orlando. Is that something that, if you're a free agent, obviously, you'd probably want to stay with the Cowboys. Hmm. But, like, does Pittsburgh, is that, are they in the mix because your family's such big fans, or does it matter? You're going where the bag is. Wherever is right. <laughs> Good answer. Wherever is right, man. Let me ask you, what was your what was your welcome to the NFL moment when you realized I've arrived? I want to say I've arrived. Um, or was there a moment where you just got tackled and were like, shit, this is this is this is crazy. <laughs> this is not I'm for here. me. <laughs> yeah. Um I got hit a couple times, man. <laughs> this, I hit so hard, I, hit so hard, I can't remember. <laughs> That's a tough question. It's hard to pinpoint it. Um, like, I remember my first, my first game, this is something crazy, uh, my first game of my rookie year. 
I got fined for like 25000 before I even had it. For what? <laughs> Why? Why? For targeting. Oh, okay. And I was running the ball. You were what? See, one of my one of my one of my welcome to the NBA moments was walking in the locker room, my first preseason game, and looking at my locker like, oh wow, like oh. this is that's my jersey. That's sweet. That's my jersey. Those are my shoes. Like I'm really I'm I'm really here. You never yeah. had one of those experiences where it was like, okay, yeah. this on and this is the Dallas Cowboys. Cause like once you once you get like signed or picked up by the Cowboys as a rookie, like it's a different, it's two locker rooms. You got the main locker room, then you got like a little small side locker room oh. where like the guys that we signed late or the okay. rookie. Okay, oh, okay, I got what you said. So like sitting in there, you I'm got like, the same thing, yeah. Then I'm just like, this is my locker, but this ain't the real one. So when I got to the real locker room, that's when I'm like, like, oh, I made yeah, it. Yeah, that was that's it, <laughs> that was it. That's kind of mean that there's like a tease locker no, room. That's, and you're like, no, because in preseason, you, you, might, yeah. you might have 20, 22 that's guys true. in there. Yeah, you have Everybody's, a yes, we, in the NBA, you might have guys in the bathroom. Oh, for sure. Even like a 10-day guy, they don't have like a full locker. Yeah, you literally might, just, they like, might have like a, just have a chair. They get like a cubby in the yeah. hallway. Yeah. All right, that's fair. I, I buy that. Um, oh, we, got, we got a moment here. It went viral in 2022. It was against the Vikings, um, and you did the MJ shrug. Do you remember that? I do. What made you do that? Did you think ahead of time, this is what I'm going to do when this moment? Nah, that was just spare the moment. <laughs> it was, it was, felt like I was hot. Huh? Yeah, that's, hey, that's, that's nice. Yeah. So it was just hey, like. Hey, caught a 20 yard ball. I don't know what to tell you, it's my day. I mean. It was one of those. Tony, do you practice? Yeah. Like, there it is. Do you practice touchdown celebrations? Like, Not I, at all. You never. Because you, you, we, we were talking about it like when you see the team, all the teams, they get involved. We're like, clearly this has been rehearsed. Like, yes. I mean, sometimes, like, when it's a group thing, yeah, you got to yeah. practice that. But, like, but when does this practice happen? Like, it's like a dance. Like, like in the locker room, you're just fucking around. You're like, they I, told us yesterday they got a week to prepare. So one yeah, of them days, facts. you got a bunch of time. And to it's, deal it's with. a confidence thing too. Like a confident team. Like you feel like a team that doesn't stand a chance. Like you're gonna be like, yeah, we can. Who's the originator of the day? Like, is some? Is there one guy that's like, I have an idea. Like, hear me out. Let's try this, and then you all learn it. How yeah. does that work? Uh, that's funny to me. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we'll have like meetings, like. We call it a signal call. It means we're just the players. And then Dak will come up with an idea and be like, shit, who got an idea for, funny. <laughs> for a touchdown dance? That's and then, funny to me. That just the visual of that makes me laugh. I mean, he scores a lot of touchdowns. You got to have a lot of, got you got to have a deep bag of dances, of celebrations. A is there lot of you ideas. Can't do? Like, is there, like, can you cross the line and get fined, like, for a certain yeah. dance? Like, yeah. Like, the T.O. back in the day, I, he put the phone you there. Can't like, thrust, right? You can't thrust, right? It's more than yeah. two. You it's can't do more than three. three thrust. See, I knew so that. Everybody's more than three. Everybody's got to thrust. See, Joel Embiid, he does the second. He does the second. Three thrusts, it, yeah. that's the law? Yeah. Oh, I would the do law. two every, every touchdown. <laughs> two two, two. Oh, good. You're good with two. <laughs> yeah. Boom, but you boom. Feel like I'm you halfway do. down. You didn't give it half. You're fine. Half. No, I'm just <laughs> I'll take the last one. Gotcha. Look, ser uh, serious question, man. Free agency is coming up for you. You are a free agent. You want to return? You going to play the game? What's, what's, what's on your mind with that? I mean, I would like to be a cowboy, but at the end of the day, I, I know it's a business, you. so... It is what it is. You know, wherever the money's right, wherever it's right for me, that's that's where I'll be at. Makes sense for me, yeah. man. I like it. Yeah. I Love like it. it. Oh, we, we got sleep number. You're doing something with sleep number? Oh, mm -hmm. I like this. What is it? Yeah, um, I've been teamed up with sleep number for a minute now. Um, it was pretty much a no-brainer when you just think about the effect that getting good sleep has on your performance the next day. Um, it's a direct correlation between the two. So. Um, you know, just, just having them in my corner, you know, getting better sleep, you know, um, being able to adjust my bed at night. Um, you know, I came off of the ankle injury, so some days I'm practicing all day on my feet. My feet will get swollen, my ankles, so I can elevate hmm. the bed at night and then wake up feeling better. Ankles not swollen anymore, so. Will you tell you him get, to call me? Because I, I need some severe help. He hasn't health. slept yet. Been here like three days already. <laughs> yeah, for Tony, real. this has been awesome. I wish you luck. Whatever happens, rest of the way is good stuff. Anything, anything, and armed guards for your visit to his yeah, parents' restaurant. I'll be there. Boom, I'm we'll coming. I'm going to Pollard's Barbecue, baby. I like it. We'll take, take a break. Happen. We'll be back with some more in a minute. I do, you need to go. It could be a road trip. I don't <laughs> think of a scenario where no, I would. Yeah, make it happen, man. Run it up, run it back, yeah, yeah. Run it up, run it back, run it up, run it back.